We begin tonight with another Verizon worker hit while on the picket lines in Boylston. This is the second time in just the last month another replacement driver is now facing charges. Our Olivia Lemon has the details. Olivia? Trisha, a similar incident happened Thursday in Westboro. Today, Boylston police responded to the Verizon facility on Shrewsbury Street after a contractor's vehicle lurched forward and knocked the striking Verizon worker to the ground. Police say the driver was operating the vehicle with a suspended license. For the second time in a week, a striking Verizon worker is hit by a replacement worker's truck. Uh, these replacement workers that the company is bringing in have, have no regard for the public or anything. Strikers say the replacement worker was picking up stock in Boylston. They say he ran over Anthony Davenport while pulling out of the driveway. Davenport was brought to the hospital and treated for non-life threatening injuries. Knocked him over. Uh, he's received stitches in his hand, hurt his hip and uh, back. Boylston police say 37 year old Kevin Goodale of Vermont left the scene but eventually returned. Police say his license was suspended. He's also facing charges of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and leaving the scene of personal injury. Granted this person had a picket sign in front of him but that was a human being standing in front of a large truck and to just push him over and drive right over him it's unacceptable. It's too bad that us as picketers and Verizon employees He's uh, paying that consequence at this point right now, and it's not fair to all of us. A striking Verizon worker and police officer were injured last week in Westboro when a replacement worker operating under the influence drove through a picket line. A Verizon spokesperson says they are looking into the specifics of what happened today. In a statement, Verizon says our initial review shows that picketers were once again too close to the vehicle at issue and it created an unsafe condition. Dangerous picketing activities put our employees and others in harm's way and it must stop immediately. I hope it ends soon. Um, I hope we get something fair and the contract goes through and we all can get back to work and and you know, serve uh, the public that we've been doing for many years. Now, Mass State Police also did an inspection of Goodale's truck. It was deemed to be unsafe and put out of order. As for Goodale, he was arraigned in Clinton District Court today and held on $5,000 bail. He's due back in court on June 2nd. Trisha, back to you. Thanks, Olivia.